Hey Danielle, it was kind of hard to explain in an email, so I thought I'd send a quick video of a couple um, quick things to fix on your activity. Uh, for part B here, the line segments and lengths that they're looking for are actually, in your pictures, these four. From here to here, from here to here, here to here, and here to here. So what I want you to do to get those lengths is um, make intersection points. So E should be the intersection of this one right here, and then you'll need an intersection point here, here, and here. Um, so these ones won't quite work because they're not on those intersections, but once you have them, then you can go ahead and measure those segments and you should get um, the correct answers for um, this section. And once you have those answers, it'll change um, the rest of these a little bit, okay? Um, so once that's good to go, that task will be fine. Um, the next task, um, the only thing you need to change here, oops, a little bit of time. Okay. If we look at part C, um, I think you might have done your construction a little bit wrong because these are not quite right. What you want to do, um, if we if we start here, um, you did it right for the other sections. So let me just explain it again real quick to make sure that you're going to do it right for this one. Um, we have this shape. We're going to click here for the transformation tool. Dilate from a point. It says select the object, center point, and enter factor. Here's your object. It said the center point wanted to be the origin. The factor it told us was negative 0.5. And now you have a new shape. Now here are all your new lengths. So it, originally it was 3, now it's 1.5, and so on. So those are the numbers that you will put right here. Um, and then you'll be dividing this number divided by that one to get your answers here. Once you have that, um, you'll be also finding a different perimeter of these two. Um, and then that should be good to go. The rest of this looks great. So let me know if you have any questions.